What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you how to use actor components It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need So you can check it out right now through the link in the description Alright, so an actor component is basically a small blueprint that we can attach into other blueprints. That way we can split the code and have things more organized. In this case, what we get to do is create a simple stats actor component. And that way we can attach these stats to our player blueprint or also AI enemies in the future. So for example, I could go here into the content browser, right click, go to blueprint class and then select actor component. This is the class that we will use to create components. And now let's just name this something as BPC underscore and then use, you know, uh, player stats or actor stats to make it more generic just in case in the future you want to add this component to our, you know, enemies. So now let's go ahead and open this up. As you can see, it is pretty much like any other actor blueprint or whatever. But of course, we do not have a viewport as they're not 3d components we only have the logic itself but now basically we can go and add a variable for example for our health and you know put this as a float and another one for the level of the player and another for the stamina and whatever right and uh, now the cool thing is that i can go and also make this uh you know um how do we say instance editable so they are public and i can access them from outside so what does that mean well let's go and open up our third person character blueprint right and now what i can do to add this component is just go to the component section and you search for my uh, actor stats and you will see here bpc actor stats i just add it as a normal component and because i put these variables as you know instance editable i can access them from here so i can set the health to be 100 level 5 and stamina 70 whatever you want and of course we can also do this from the event graph itself i can just drag actor stats and you know get the health and do things with it or you know set the health and whatever and of course everything will be inside of a separate blueprint which is a component and you know this will keep things more organized and it will help you to expand the product as it grows now also you may be wondering well maybe from the uh, bpc actor stats i want to access a variable that i have here that is for example i don't know uh like a weapon equipped right just to put an example right so the player character which has this actor stats components we have this variable and from the component we want to access this variable how do we do it well we cannot simply just go and of course you know get weapon uh you know a quick weapon uh because there's no first of all what class our parent or well the one that it has the component attached very said um you know owns the the owner right so what we can do is basically just use the very handy node we just get owner and now that way we can get this actor object reference and then we can just simply you know cast to the third person character blueprint and from you know it i can now access this equipped weapon variable and do things with it right so the key is using this get owner uh, node and that way you can do things also for example getting the um actor location right you want to get the uh third person uh, location you can do it from the component itself using this get owner node and of course if you want to access its variables and so on you need to cast uh like i just did here or use an interface right um so this is what you can do and you know this doesn't only work for the player i could right now go ahead and just create another you know ai character and you know you know i just apply quickly a mesh just to test right and once this compiles i don't know why it is compiling there we go i can also add the you know um, actor stats component and edit things on here and of course it will be independent and so on so this is very cool 
I use it a lot, okay? Uh, you will notice that in my series, I use it a lot, especially in the RPG, which is a bit more advanced, right? And, you know, you can really make a lot of cool things with it. And of course, functions, macros, you know, pretty much all in blueprints. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my Patreon and YouTube members for, you know, a lot of benefits. Join my Discord server to talk with me and to other devs check out my new course with game dev tv how to make a stealth game in unreal uh follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye